Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I just did a little, a little trailer for my, I've been working all day on this banner stuff for, and different little things for YouTube they suggested I do. Anyway, so they said it suggested I do a trailer for uh, the non, uh, the unsubscribe, I don't know. Uh, anyway, so I made one. They said to keep it between 30 seconds and a minute. I don't think I've finished a sentence <laughs> in a minute. <laughs> and I don't, I just can't stop talking. Anyway, so I figured I'd really kind of go back and in more in depth as to why I started this channel. Um, I may have mentioned it in some videos, but this is going to be pretty much dedicated to that. Hopefully I, <laughs> I won't be too long because we all know how I like to derail. Anyway, what is going on with my forehead right here? I don't know. I'm sorry. Anyway, like I said, I derail. So, by about, I, I want to say two, about 15 years ago, I really, really, really started getting interested in makeup. I started trying to recreate every look that I saw in magazines and everything, and I just loved it. So <laughs> that was my big thing, and I knew that's what it was, but back then it was 2004. I had no idea where to go. I had no idea what to do with it. My hair is just, I'm sorry, my hair is terrible. Anyway, I had no idea what you know how to get started and so back then I lived in um, Tyler Texas and I walked or I kept they finally built a Mac store and I need to wash it anyway <laughs> I'm sorry so uh, I went there and I said, that's where my addiction really started to take off and um, so I just kept going and going and then I applied and they're like we don't have anything right now and I kept going back and I kept applying and I kept spending more money and back the, and it's still kind of true to this day I would pick food I would pick makeup over food <laughs> my food budget went to my makeup <laughs> my food budget and I knew that's what I was supposed to do but I just really didn't know how to get there and so um Anyway, finally they're like, we're opening a store in Longview. And I was like, okay, great, terrific. So, um, anyway, I went, I tried out, I actually made it. And with Mac, they really don't take any, just anybody. Uh, they've got a, you don't have to be perfect or really even good. You just have to have the skill. They have to see the ability, the skill, the talent in you. And so I made it. And that was probably like, the highest high I think I've ever been on. I was so excited because that was my dream company. So I got started with Mac and then I ended up leaving um, just for some personal reasons. And so then I kind of, and then I got back up on my feet because, you know, just personal reasons. So I got back up on my feet and I moved down here to Houston. And then my dream goal was to get to Sephora. So then I went and applied everywhere. And you know, when people say, oh, just go get a job, it's not that easy. Well, I mean, you could be the perfect candidate, but you might have too many qualifications or it, the process itself takes a long time, like a long time where they may forget. I don't know. Anyway, so it's not, people just say, oh, go get a job. Well, there's a process and it's not exactly easy. So anyway, so I applied. That's when I started working at the Egg and I. And then I went to Sephora like probably about November and December, November, October, October, November. And I went in there and I applied and it was part time. And I loved it for a while. I, and for a while, I mean, if I went back right now, I would still love it because I, I go through these moments sometimes where I'm tired of makeup and I don't want to deal with it. And then, and then I just love it. And then I'll love it for a long time. And then I'm like, I need a break. I need to do something different. And then I love it. And it, so anyway, I went there and then I was there for I think three years. I loved it. I love my manager, Lizeth. She is fantastic. I love 
her and I miss her and I loved all my coworkers. I did meet some really fantastic ladies there. But then I just keep seeing these brand reps. They would come in, they would just work for work for that specific brand um, for a few hours and they, go, they would go and then they would travel. So I decided I would leave Sephora and try that. And that really was not my cup of tea either. So I went, I was still at the, I went back to the Egg and I, which is a breakfast restaurant, which is why I'm used to getting up at 5 a.m. And I need to go back on that because that was probably the best thing for me. You have a complete solid day when you get up at 5 a.m. And then you're going to bed about 8 or 9. That is normal. And now I've got this job where I'm like up till 10, 12 o'clock, and then sometimes I can't fall asleep till 4 o'clock in the morning, and I absolutely, absolutely hate it. Hate it. So I need to just start getting back up at, at 5 again, 5.30. And I mean, I did that for seven years, needless to say. That's where I got stuck. I got stuck there for seven years. I, I needed a break. I needed to figure out what I wanted to do. And um, so... I was there for seven years and then I was like <laughs> I just couldn't do it anymore so oh the company's changed and that was not a good fit for me and so anyway so needless to say I ended up getting another job I'm still currently trying to figure out really what I want to do with makeup so this is you know I love doing this this is my I love this the product reviews on it are really my ultimate goal with this but I have no problems doing tutorials because people do ask and so that's really why I started that um, because I really wanted to get back involved in makeup but not necessarily the retail aspect of it but not necessarily just doing complete like makeovers for people or you know on occasion it's nice it's okay I can make some good money um, but I really just like trying the different products and giving my opinions because God knows I got a lot of them anyway so some a lot of my co-workers friends and family were asking me about different products like you know what do you think about this have you tried that have you tried that I'm like no 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 and then um, and then even my like my family they're like hours away I can't get to them so this was the best way for me to communicate all those ideas to everyone is through YouTube and so I absolutely love doing this if I could do this all day long I would and I could I mean I love it I absolutely love it once you get over the initial seeing yourself on camera and your voice because I would cringe the first 27 28 videos it took me a long time to not cringe so anyway I've derailed and then I had met someone and uh, I was talking to him about it and he's like it doesn't because I really didn't think I could do it or I wouldn't be good at it I'm I'm still not great at it I still don't know how to edit I talk too much <laughs> my camera is kind of crap <laughs> but it's better than what I started off with but I'm getting much more comfortable in front of the camera and talking and playing back and listening to myself and I figured for me that's a really good goal my goal is is to have followers who like to interact with me um, and leave comments likes questions comments concerns you know I'm very very open to that uh, anyway going back my um, he told me he's like you just need to start that's all you need to do you just need to start so I started and I had no idea like if I had unlimited funding this would be like probably <laughs> high production <laughs> that's what I want I want better production I want better videos for you guys I want to be able to do this and I mean I can work or whatever outside of this but I just love doing this so I found what I love I just need to get better at it I actually need more money for it but yeah that's kind of why I'm here and I'm hoping you guys will help me along the way and um, give me some feedback um, like I said I'm open 
I've spent a lot of time on Twitter with... <sighs> There's no word to describe those people. Anyway, um, I can handle whatever, really, I promise I can. Um, and that's kind of my little backstory. If you have any questions on that, uh, just let me know. Um, again, I hope you guys get to the point where you can leave me comments and stuff like that so we can talk and communicate because I like being very interactive. You're also going to probably hear random stories throughout my life like this one, you know, because I promise you some of the weirdest crap has happened to me. It's, I'm just a magnet for weird situations. No, anyway, anyway, if, um, like I said, if there's anything you want to see, if you want any, anything you want to try, um, contouring, I'm still working on it, like on different parts of my face, um, in different areas. I still need to get a cream contour stick and start working with that because that's what I really want to learn. I want to learn how to manipulate my face and get rid of my double chin. <laughs> but I think I'm going to need more than contour <laughs> for that. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for so much for the interaction you have given me. I would really, really, really do appreciate it all. Um, you guys are fantastic. Thank you, and y'all have a great day.